Vatna has witnessed significant infrastructural developments aimed at easing traffic congestion and improving transportation networks. One of the most anticipated projects currently underway is the construction of a flyover at the motorway interchange in Flower Pot, which is expected to open to traffic by the end of October this year. This project, once completed, is poised to revolutionize traffic connectivity between the northern and southern parts of the motorway. With the ever-increasing urbanization and the expanding population, the need for efficient road networks has become more urgent than ever, and the Flower Pot Interchange flyover serves as a crucial part of the broader strategy to modernize the country's road infrastructure. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. The flyover will not only facilitate smoother travel across the motorway, but also provide immense relief to commuters who frequently travel through some of the busiest areas in the city. It promises to improve traffic flow between key residential and commercial areas, such as cantonments and Burma Camp on one side, and East Lagon, Spintex, and Tema on the other. These areas are known for their high volume of traffic due to their strategic importance in terms of both residential settlements and business activities. For the people who commute daily between these neighborhoods, the flyover will be a game changer, reducing travel times and easing the frustration caused by frequent traffic jams. The Minister of Roads and Highways, Mr. Francis Asenso Bokier, recently inspected the project, giving the public a glimpse into the progress of the flyover. During his inspection tour, which took place on a Friday, the minister expressed his satisfaction with the work done so far. He noted that the project is on schedule, a feat he credits to the dedication of the contractors and the ministry's oversight. Since assuming office, Mr. Asenso Boakye has been actively involved in the project, engaging with the contractors and encouraging them to complete the flyover as soon as possible. His personal involvement underscores the government's commitment to ensuring that this vital infrastructure is delivered on time and to a high standard. The minister further assured the public of the government's readiness to fulfill its obligations under the contract, including making all necessary payments and providing any additional support that may be needed to expedite the project. This assurance from Mr. Asenso Bokeh reflects the government's recognition of the importance of the project, not just for improving traffic flow, but for enhancing the overall quality of life for the people who rely on these roads. For many, this flyover is not just a road. It represents the promise of smoother, less stressful commutes and the possibility of spending less time in traffic and more time with their families or at work. But the motorway interchange flyover is only one part of a larger effort to address the nation's transportation challenges. On the same day, Mr. Asenso Bokye also toured other road projects, including several in the Ledzokuku municipality. Accompanied by officials from the Ministry of Roads and Highways and the Department of Urban Roads, as well as Dr. Bernard Okoy Boy, the New Patriotic Party's 2024 parliamentary candidate for Ledzokuku constituency, the minister inspected various roads in the area, many of which have suffered from significant wear and tear in recent years. The deterioration of the roads in the Ledzokuku municipality can largely be attributed to the reconstruction of the Beach Road, a key arterial route that runs along the coast. As work progressed on the Beach Road, traffic was diverted onto the smaller inner roads, which were not designed to handle the heavy traffic load. As a result, roads such as Sui Bliu, Fertilizer, King Koti, A Street, 3rd Avenue, Ford, and Numo Mashi roads have seen accelerated degradation, prompting the need for immediate repair and rehabilitation. Currently, the works on these roads, which include drainage repairs and asphalt concrete overlay, are estimated to be about 45% complete. The ministry expects that these repairs will be fully completed by the end of 2024. For the residents and commuters who use these roads daily, this news is undoubtedly welcome. The inner roads are a vital part of the local transportation network, providing essential links between neighborhoods and facilitating access to businesses, schools, and healthcare facilities. 
Beyond the immediate needs of the Ledzukuku municipality, the state of the beach road has also garnered attention, particularly because it is a major thoroughfare that connects several key communities, including Osu, Labadi, Teshi, and Nungwa. The beach road reconstruction project, which is about 80% complete, had stalled due to financial constraints stemming from the government's negotiations with the International Monetary Fund, IMF. However, during his tour, Mr. Rao Asenso Boakye reassured the public that the negotiations had advanced significantly and work on the remaining 20% of the beach road would resume shortly. The minister's visit to these projects was more than just a routine inspection. It was also an opportunity to highlight the importance of maintaining momentum on key infrastructure projects, even in the face of financial and logistical challenges. Uh, in this regard, Mr. Asenso Boakye gave special credit to Dr. Okoe Boy, whose tireless advocacy on behalf of his constituents has helped to keep the road issues in the Ledzokuku and Crower municipalities at the forefront of the government's agenda. In addition to his inspections in Ledzokuku, Mr. Asenso Boakye also toured road projects in the neighboring Crower municipality. Among the projects he inspected was the rehabilitation of the Okpoi Gano Highway, which is a critical link between Ledzokuku and Crower. The highway connects Beach Road to Spintex Road and the motorway, serving as a crucial artery for commuters traveling between some of the city's most heavily populated areas. With its strategic location, the rehabilitation of the Okpoigano Highway is essential to easing traffic congestion and improving access to key parts of the city. Mr. Asenso Boakye's visit to these road projects underscores the government's commitment to addressing the transportation challenges faced by residents of heavily populated urban areas like Crowor and Ledzokuku. He expressed his satisfaction with the progress made so far on the Okpoi Gano Highway and reiterated the government's pledge to ensure that the work is completed on schedule. For many Ghanaians, these road projects represent more than just asphalt and concrete. They are part of a broader vision for a future in which transportation is more efficient, less stressful, and more equitable. The flyover at the motorway interchange, the rehabilitation of roads in Ledzokuku, the completion of the beach road, and the Okpoi Gano Highway are all part of a comprehensive strategy to improve road connectivity in some of the country's most densely populated areas. As Ghana continues to grow and urbanize, the need for efficient transportation networks will only become more critical. The government's investment in road infrastructure, as demonstrated by these projects, is a crucial step towards meeting the demands of a rapidly expanding population. With each new road, flyover, and highway, the nation moves closer to a future in which traffic congestion is no longer a daily struggle and where people can move more freely and efficiently between their homes, workplaces, and communities. In conclusion, the opening of the flyover at the motorway interchange in Flowerpot, along with the various road rehabilitation projects inspected by Mr. Asenso Boakye, marks a significant milestone in Ghana's ongoing efforts to improve its transportation infrastructure. These projects are not just about easing traffic congestion. They are about improving the quality of life for the millions of people who rely on these roads every day. They are about creating a more connected, more efficient, and more prosperous Ghana for future generations. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.